The future is here. For any car enthusiast, the evolution of the all-electric vehicle has been fascinating. While you might be familiar with the SpaceX Tesla brand due to its CEO Elon Musk, you might have heard of the Hyperion brand before, mainly because it sounds like something out of the future. While SpaceX technology powers the 2023 Tesla Roadster, NASA technology powers the futuristic Hyperion X1. This video will compare both boutique supercars, so ensure you get the full details. When Hyperion announced the debut of a car, one could predict the energy that would feed it. However, the market still needed to anticipate the type of vehicle. Hyperion is a cutting-edge firm founded on three divisions. Hyperion Energy, Hyperion Motors, and Hyperion Aerospace, all centered on hydrogen-based power and delivery. Despite recent heat, there aren't many outstanding supercars that can attain speeds of 200 miles per hour or more on the market for vehicles with electric drivetrains, both hydrogen cell and battery-based. But ideas like the one by Hyperion define creating a new market with previously unheard of weight, acceleration, and cornering speed statistics. All research developed into a model called the Hyperion X1. Also a major player in the EV sector, Elon Musk, whose premium electric car manufacturer Tesla, prioritizes the use of greener energy and entirely technologically reliable automobiles, is responsible for the most current one. According to the company's official website, Tesla will launch the new 2023 Tesla Roadster, the best and fastest electric car in the world. So can the Hyperion X1 beat the 2023 Tesla Roadster as the fastest supercar since it uses different technology? The new XP1 hypercar from California-based startup Hyperion is described as space technology for the road. The hydrogen cell fuels 1,609 km range for a single fill is its most outstanding feature, and the technology used by hydrogen makes the refueling procedure more straightforward. The Hyperion XP1 is an all-four-wheeled vehicle with a three-speed transmission. The XP1's powertrain accelerates from rest to 96 km per hour in less than 2.2 seconds. The peak speed of the Hyperion XP1 is 220 miles per hour. Compared to its electric competitors, its supercapacitors are unaffected by severe temperatures. They will provide consistent performance in contrast to existing BEV technology, which can overheat after operating at top performance for lengthy durations. They are also significantly more efficient because of their 1 is to 1 charge to discharge ratio, even though they cannot store as much energy when an engine is not located below the engine cover. But due to its neon blue brightness, you'd think it was made in the future from how it is designed. It serves as a collection point for the water vapor, which is then expelled through the exhaust system. In addition to the motor that sounds like it's going to take off into space, the exhaust tips light up. The mist begins to appear like blue flames. The Hyperion XB1 makes an engine-like noise when you turn it on, sounding exactly like two aircraft turbines and the sound of the motor builds to a crescendo. The exhausts also start spitting out the water first, then vapor. It's a proper zero-emissions car. Nevertheless, the 2023 Tesla is designed to be special. With its record-breaking speed and economy, the Roadster all-electric supercar makes the most of aerodynamic engineering's promise. A front electric motor and two rear electric motors are incorporated into 2023 Tesla Roadster's design. This powertrain contributes to the car's all-wheel drive and will even incorporate torque vectoring while cornering. However, the electric battery capacity of the car, which, if successful, will be the greatest capacity of any existing Tesla automobile, and also has to be the most exciting feature of the design thus far. The Roadster would have a top speed of at least 250 miles per hour, a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack that would provide more than 620 miles of range and a full charge, and three electric motors that would allow the Roadster to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds and a quarter mile in less than 9 seconds. The battery is believed to be twice as large as the Model S or Model X's existing batteries. The new 2023 Roadster will be available with a SpaceX package which features cold air thrusters surrounding the car to boost peak speed, braking, and turning. The 2023 Tesla Roadster's acceleration is a feat that even supercars and hypercar models of this type have not yet achieved. There you have the acceleration of both Hyperion X1 and the 2023 Tesla Roadster matching each other. But when it comes to top speed, the 2023 Roadster tops the competition. However, let's check out the interiors and exteriors of these respective supercars and decide which is the best. 
The Hyperion XB1 boasts the unique and muscular appearance of a supercar from the outside. Carbon fiber reinforced with titanium serves as the lightweight monocoque of the XB1. The Hyperion XB1 includes body panels with titanium infusions and a sturdy titanium carbon monocoque frame. It is pretty light as it has no large batteries inside. The XB1 has the appearance of an interstellar spacecraft on wheels. The automobile has a menacing appearance up front thanks to its low position grille and thin headlamps. The XB1's appearance is not only aesthetically pleasing but also incredibly practical. Two futuristic flying buttresses behind the automobile door enhance active aerodynamics when cornering at high speeds. These wings serve to hold solar panels as well. It's interesting how they can alter their positions to follow the sun's path, to provide the best downforce when driving and to guarantee that the solar panels are receiving the most sunlight possible while the vehicle is parked, the rear wing can detect the sun's movement and alter its position accordingly. While solar panels cannot provide enough electricity to run the automobile, they can power part of the electronics within, reducing the amount of hydrogen required. The Hyperion XP1's futuristic external design contrasts with the Tesla Roadster's bodywork, closely resembling a modern sports car. This sports vehicle has an easily detachable glass top, a sleek minimalist appearance, and four seats. Like previous Tesla models, the exterior is sleek and generally devoid of frills. It boasts a stylish lower bumper, a low front hood, and sharply slanted headlamps. Muscular fenders and huge wheels dominate the side aspect, and the rising belt line leaves to a shapely rear end with an integrated spoiler. Although the rear seat passengers will still have a roof above them, the glass roof panel may be put in a trunk, allowing for open-air driving for those in the front. It was revealed that the Tesla Roadster would be red, but we expect Tesla to stray from its somewhat constrained color scheme, including black, white, gray, and blue. Overall, the Tesla Model S is a sporty, contemporary, and opulent sports vehicle that makes the most of Tesla's classic design characteristics. The exterior designs spotted on these cars are one of a kind, but I would pick the Hyperion XP1. The XP1 gives the feeling of riding a mini spaceship, which is partially right since it uses NASA technology. However, before we get into the specifics of each car's interior, let's compare their range, an essential parameter for battery powered electric vehicles, and in the case of the Hyperion XP1, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. The carbon fiber hydrogen tanks on the Hyperion XP1 can be filled in less than 5 minutes and can store enough fuel for 1,000 miles of driving at street legal speeds. The US will soon have hydrogen refueling stations according to proposals by Hyperion. The projected range of the Roadster is outstanding. The car is planned to have a range of 1,000 kilometers or 620 miles on a single electric charge. That is a very strong battery and Elon Musk said at the original presentation that drivers could go from Los Angeles to San Francisco and back on only one charge. Even though SpaceX cars have been around for quite some time, the Hyperion XB1 does have a better range. Does this mean hydrogen is a better energy source? Anyway, let's examine both vehicles' interiors. The Hyperion XP1's interior is just as cutting edge as its looks. The seats of the Hyperion XP1 are quite spacious and comfortable. A cabin that is both ultra futuristic and minimalistic may be found within. There aren't any knobs or buttons, and the dashboard and center console are integrated into a huge 98 inch curved screen. The entire structure is made of glass, creating a light atmosphere. So far, Hyperion has yet to provide many specifics about the XP1's interior, but based on what is known, driving this supercar GT is comparable to flying in a space shuttle. Nevertheless, the 2023 Tesla Roadster does not fall short despite these great features of the Hyperion XP1. The interior of the next generation Roadster is minimalistic, as is typical of Tesla. A big portrait touchscreen is located in the middle of the curving, ultra slim bridge style center console, which also has a streamlined dashboard with carbon fiber trim. Tesla's traditional white and black interior appears on the menu, and the dashboard appears covered in a large expanse of carbon fiber, giving it a sportier and higher tech vibe rather than a luxurious one. The steering wheel is designed to seem like a spacecraft. You can find a button-free design inside the Tesla Roadster. For somewhat larger goods like a shopping bag or a purse, there is extra storage in a hollowed-out portion below the center console. A cup holder is located on the central armrest. Four people can fit inside the supercar, though the Roadster's steeply sloping roofline may prevent adults from using the back seats. The front bucket seats on the Tesla Roadster are athletic and seem supportive and pleasant. 
This supercar will feature an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, Spotify integration, and a slew of visual entertainment applications like Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube to keep drivers occupied while parked and charging. To enjoy a convertible open-air driving experience, the Roadster has a detachable glass panel top that you can store in the trunk. So both supercar interiors feature an ultra-futuristic and minimalistic design and feel. Still, the Roadster may be preferred over the Hyperion because it has four seats and more features are currently known. How about you guys? What do you think about all this? And there you have it folks, comparing the NASA Tech Hyperion X1 and the SpaceX Tech 2023 Tesla Roadster. Do you think both are worthy competitors? Well, one is the most technologically advanced electric car, and the other is the future's first hydrogen-powered electric vehicle supercar. So there won't be any new competition for now, or if you're building one, you can subscribe to the channel to let us know about your opinions. Thanks for watching.